In the CFC Editor catalog, our SFC type appears in the Other Blocks category. This block is placed in the Ventilate Pot 1 CFC chart and given the name T1 Ventilate. The interface parameters used in Somatic Batch were changed to be visible. Establishing connections between the two blocks is extremely easy in the CFC Editor. Both charts are opened in the CFC Editor and arranged beside each other. After selecting the input and output in the blocks, the CFC editor creates all the relevant interconnections to the valve automatically. To make sure that all the batch relevant information written to ventilate part 1 by Somatic Batch can be passed onto the valve, the batch relevant outputs are also interconnected with the valve. To ensure that the actual process value at the duration set point is displayed correctly in the OS faceplate and is also available for Somatic Batch, a connection must be established between the output of the current timer value and the process value input. The Pot 1 Equipment Module folder that represents Ventilate is now copied to Pot 2 and Pot 3 and modified to point at the ventilation valve for Pot 2 and Pot 3. All names of the folders, charts, and function blocks need to be adjusted. The charts are compiled, and the data is then downloaded to the automation system. Prior to compilation, a further instance of the phase should be created, or this should at least be pointed out, so that the type instance concept is clearly highlighted. The program is downloaded in the controller. Now the changes to the OS are compiled. Before the OS server can be downloaded, several steps must be made to accommodate Somatic Batch. In the configuration dialog for Somatic Batch, the batch types are generated. This makes the ventilate phase available to batch. We then compile the batch instances and then download the process cell data to batch.
So far, the new equipment phase has been created, and the blocks used have been inserted and interconnected with the pot ventilation valves. Changes are still needed to operation of the process cell, and recipes still need to be created. To be able to monitor the new phase on the OS, an entry must be made to the OS faceplate. The modifications are made in the kitchen.pdl file with the graphics designer. After opening the properties dialog of the pot1 unit block icon, the pot1 unit is selected first in the configuration box. The T1 ventilate phase we created can then be inserted into the configuration by double clicking. The PCS7 OS runtime name is modified automatically, but it is renamed as Pot1. The picture is stored and the WinCC Explorer is closed. The block icons for Pot 2 and Pot 3 are modified in the same way. Now the OS server is downloaded online. The process does not need to be taken offline to do this. The download is successful. With this, the engineering on the engineering station is completed.